All right, so this week we are gonna be doing pickled eggs. Now, if you saw my pantry tour video, there were pickled eggs in that video and I've had people ask me how I make my pickled eggs. And so I did film this a while back and I thought I would just go ahead and put it together and show you how I do my pickled eggs. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put this out front and just get it over with. If you are looking for a USDA approved recipe on how to pickled eggs, this is not it. I do not follow the USDA guidelines on how to pickle eggs. Now I wanna try not to get on too much of a rant about this, but our grandparents and great grandparents have been doing this for a really long time before USDA come along and said, you know what, that's not safe. You're not allowed to do that. So that's the only rant I'm gonna get on right now is that things have been going on a lot longer than USDA has been around. So I choose not to follow their guidelines. USDA says that you have to keep pickled eggs, canned pickled eggs, you have to keep them in the refrigerator at all times or you take a chance on getting botulism. Now I've been pickling eggs for a long time and I'm not dead. My family's not dead, we've never been sick, and I don't keep my eggs in the refrigerator. I can my eggs and put them on a shelf. And that's where they stay until like, we get ready to eat them. Now, once we open that jar, we do put it into the refrigerator. So, when you're looking for a video, this is not USDA DA approved, and if you're gonna make this, you know, you are making it at your own risk, but I have never ever once been sick in all the years that we have been making pickled eggs. Pickled eggs are a really great way to store eggs. They keep for a long time, and I always have plenty in our stores. Like, I keep them for over a year, and I've never ever had a problem with them. It's super easy, and so you're gonna find out in this video, it is a really quick video. Basically, the only thing that you're doing is boiling your eggs, boiling some vinegar and water, putting some spices in a jar, sealing it up in sterilized jars, water bathing it, and then you're done. Very quick easy process to follow. Now, if you're new to canning and you're not comfortable following something that's not a USDA approved recipe, go to their website. They have a lot of recipes on there and they tell you what they think is the best way for you to put this up so you won't get sick. But if you're looking for a way to store eggs that does not require refrigeration, stick around and I'm gonna show you how. We have a lot of extra duck eggs right now. So today I decided that I would go ahead and pickle some eggs. We love pickled eggs and it's a great way to store eggs so you can have them later on. Now when I boil eggs, I like to go ahead and have my water boiling and then I put my eggs into the water and then I boil it for 12 minutes. And so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm gonna get these put in the water and then we're gonna chop up some onions and peppers and garlic and get that ready to go in the jars as well. When you're putting your eggs in hot boiling water, you just have to be careful because if you knock them on the bottom really hard, then they're gonna pop. So you just gotta put them in there one at a time. All right, so I have all those eggs put in there. I'm gonna let that come up to a boil and then I'll set the timer for 12 minutes. All right, now while I have those eggs boiling, I do have my washed jars put in this pot here. When you pickle eggs, you are doing a water bath and so you're not pressure canning that. You're just, you're just using boiling water to seal the jars and so you wanna start with nice clean jars and then you wanna boil your jars to make sure all the germs are killed. And so that's what I have going on back here. But while this continues to, to heat up and then the eggs cook, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some onions and some peppers and some garlic to go in with those eggs and then get my, my spices ready to go. All right, let me get my chopping knife under here. Why is it in that jar? This is where it, that's where it fits at. <laughs> Thank you. We're actually gonna do these in strips. Here, do the one that's not hot. So we're just gonna do them in strips like that. What's the matter? That, that one's hot, I don't want you to burn your eyes. It's not so, so do like strips like that, okay? You're eating all my pepper for the eggs. What? These are the pepper goes in the, um, the pickled eggs.
All right, for the juice for these, you're just gonna do one to one vinegar and water. So I'm going to do, I'm doing five cups of vinegar and five cups of water. And this is apple cider vinegar. You can use white vinegar as well. We just prefer apple cider vinegar, so that's normally what I use. And then you're gonna put this on the stove and this needs to be boiling when you put it over your eggs. All right, so those eggs are done. We're gonna go ahead and pour the water off them and get them cooled just a little bit so we can go ahead and get them all peeled. And then we're gonna put our vinegar on the stove. Now it's the fun task of shelling all the eggs. Here, I'll put some couple in here for you. I always like to boil, I always like to peel my eggs when they're warm. I just think that they peel better, but you could let these cool completely if you would like. So that is one thing when you're using farm fresh eggs, they tend to not peel as well as store-bought ones. Some people say that if the eggs are older, then they peel quicker, but I honestly have not noticed a difference. All right, these jars are boiling, so we're going to go ahead and start taking these out and stuffing the jars with everything. Okay, we're going to put a little bit of garlic in the bottom. All right, so we have our garlic in the bottom of the jar, and I'm going to put a teaspoon of salt and quarter tablespoon of red pepper flakes, a half a teaspoon, oops, wrong one, a half a teaspoon of celery seed, a half a teaspoon of dill, quarter teaspoon of mustard seed, and a half a teaspoon of peppercorns and then we're just going to layer these in here we're going to put a few onions some pepper these are duck eggs i'm using so not as many will fit into a jar we're probably going to be able to get eight into this jar here And we're going to go ahead and get all my jars done before I start putting the vinegar in them. And you can really put anything that you like in, in here, any kind of pepper that you like, or if a, you have a special seasoning that you like, you can just kind of put whatever you want in it, in it to get it the taste that you like. You just don't want to make, you just want to make sure that your um, that you have plenty of room on top that you don't make it so your egg so full that it's going to pop the lid up because then it's not going to seal correctly. All right, and so this last jar here, I just put salt, pepper flakes, and um, black peppercorns in because I'm going to put some soy sauce in this one to flavor it just a little bit differently. And then once you get these filled up, then you just put the hot vinegar over the top of them. and leave about a half inch space at the top of your jar. And go around and clean the edges of your jar off to make sure you don't have anything stuck on it. And you're gonna put your hot lids. Everything has to be sterilized. So you want hot lids that's been boiled. 
All right, and so you're gonna put these into a hot water bath. And so what that is, is you just put this into hot water and then once the water comes to a boil, then you're gonna start the timer and you're gonna leave them in there for 15 minutes. Once that's done, you can just take them out and set them on your cutting board to cool. Once these are cooled, they will be sealed and then you can just put them on a shelf. They do not have to be put into the refrigerator until you open them. All right, so these are done. We're gonna go ahead and take them out of the water and let them cool for a little while. All right, so if you have a jar that does not seal, just go ahead and stick it in your refrigerator and it'll be fine. The rest of them do not need to be refrigerated until you open them. Now this is a good way to preserve eggs and we really like these and I try to get, you know, a dozen jars put up for us. So I'll do these as the summer goes on. If we get extra eggs, I'll put some up. And so when you're doing these, don't be afraid to try new things, different spices. You might find one that you really like. I like the one with the soy sauce in it. If you have something that you like, you could let us know in the comments and I'll give it a try. That's gonna wrap it up for this week's video. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when the next video comes out. Also, don't get to head on over to Instagram and follow me over there at Life Like Lizzie. And with that, we'll see you on the next one.